Um, why did you draw a parallel with Nazi Germany, Hitler and the EU yesterday in the Sunday Telegraph interview that you did? And do you regret your comments? Over the last few thousand years, there have been all sorts of attempts in Europe to recreate the dream of the Roman Empire. And very often that's been done by force. The EU is different. It's trying to do it in a, in a more bureaucratic way. And the problem is that there isn't a single charismatic authority that anybody feels any loyalty to. And it's completely anti-democratic. That's the problem. Okay. Um, but people with And, and it, I, I've gone to say that the EU is also now becoming so bureaucratic and holding the economies of Europe back that it's a, it's a microclimate of low growth. And there's a very good letter this morning in the paper from a lot of businesses saying that they think we'd be better, we'd be better off out and we'd be better off trading with countries around the world on a free trade basis. I have to say, I agree with that. But people within your own party, like Michael Heston, for example, has reportedly said that every time he well, hears... Well, look, you know, uh, people will, you know, whenever anybody, this, this discussion is uh, bedeviled by all sorts of artificial media twit storms and hysteria of one kind or another, there's a very good argument against the lack of democracy in the EU. Over the last 2,000 years, people have made repeated attempts to unify Europe by force. The EU is a very different project, but it is profoundly anti-democratic. That's why we should vote leave on June 21st. Thank you. But don't you think you're